Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to be sharing with you my order from Net Printer as well as a couple of bits and bobs, a little bit of knitting and a little bit of fabric. Now first off I have to apologize that I am a couple days late in posting and letting you guys know who won my giveaway. I do apologize. I hope that you think I have a good reason and that's that it was my 15th wedding anniversary and my husband surprised me with a trip to Jamaica for four days. So I'll put in a few pictures of that. It was absolutely beautiful and uh, he took care of finding it, planning it. He got people to look after our kids. It was pretty amazing and uh, I think that it's important for parents to get away on their own sometimes and 15 years is worth marking. So yeah, so that's where I was. Now the winner of the giveaway is... Myra Lorraine and there is the random generator that came up. Um, Myra is also a wonderful YouTuber and she was actually featured in one of my very first giveaways as one of the new vloggers. So it's kind of neat the way that came around full circle. Um, and she's also one so sweet on um, Instagram. So I did contact her and I told her you need to make sure that you do an unboxing video of your order from Blackbird. I know she's already done it. So I'm gonna list her below, head over there and uh, subscribe so you can see what she got from with her giveaway. So several weeks ago, Simon King from Netprinter in the UK contacted me and said one of his Canadian clients suggested that I might be a good person to talk to about the Canadian market. So whoever that was, thank you so much. Um, and so I have actually never printed off patterns. So I either buy the printed pattern or I've printed it off myself and put it together on my big window that I'm sitting in front of right now. So I don't have any experience in printer, printed patterns. You, some of you may know that in Canada, it is really difficult to find a reasonable, it's, it's basically impossible to find a reasonable printer. Now there is a place in Toronto that someone just told me about that I haven't had a chance to try yet. But what I like about Netprinter, and I'm gonna post um, what the website looks like, is it's really straightforward. One thing that makes me nervous is like, what if I send a random printer you know, the files and they come back the wrong size and then I've paid for them and I paid for shipping and I can't even use them. That's my personal concern with it of just picking any random printer. And so Netprinter um, started printing patterns, I think about a year ago, but they've been in business for 37 years. And I think it's kind of lovely too that in the interim, Simon's wife has become a sewist and is part of the sewing world. And um, so the website is great in that it very clearly shows you drop down, pick the file, AO is the best for them. So I pick the AO file, what color I want it in, how many pages it is, and I pay per page. So Simon offered for me to do an order that he um, that he paid for, so I did get this for free, full disclosure, um, just to try out the service and let you guys know exactly what I think. So when he contacted me, the first thing I said to him was, I'm interested. I always like the idea of supporting small business and we definitely don't have great options in Canada. But I said, it seems to me like it's going to take you a long time to get something from the UK all the way over to Toronto. So how long is it going to take and how much is it going to cost me? So I asked those questions before I even agreed to the trial. And he said, well, we're starting a new service on our site and we have a new website coming up, I guess is a better way to put it. We have a new website coming and we're going to be able to offer five pounds shipping or nine pounds shipping if you want it signed for. So I was like, okay, five pounds, like that's about seven, eight dollars Canadian. That's reasonable. I can see that. Um, nine pounds if you want it signed for. Yep. Okay. And as far as I know, it's supposed to take the same amount of time and it's by Royal Mail. There was no duty. I don't know why. I don't know if printed materials don't have duty or I don't know, but there was no duty. I ordered at 4 a.m. Tuesday morning. Don't even ask. I couldn't sleep. I was up. I was like, may as well get something done. So I ordered 4 a.m. on a Tuesday morning and it arrived on Monday afternoon. So that's six days. I was pretty impressed with that. Six days is pretty good. And here's what I got. So it came in uh, just a paper envelope and my products are here with, I haven't opened it yet, so just so you guys know, I, I, I waited, um, even though it arrived before my trip, I wanted you guys to see exactly how it arrived. So here is my invoice that has the 
the projects that I ordered. So for instance, just to give you an example, it's one pound 50 per page. Definitely a lot cheaper than going to Staples or something like that. So the Sapporo coat, for example, is three pages. So that was four pound 50. I got the Alex shirt dress. I got the Hudson pants because I find I'm often having to trace out different sizes of that. So I don't want to keep printing it out over and over again. And I got the Cali shirt dress that I have a feeling I'm going to want to do a bunch of stuff on. So here we go. Let's see. First of all, I've got some, I've got a brochure for net printer and a list of their sewing services. So this is a sample of what the envelope would look like if you wanted to have um, patterns printed. If you're a designer and you want to print patterns, there are some pattern companies in Canada and the States that actually find it even um, more economical to order through this service. So very nice, very nice. And then for an example, he sent me um, something so that I could see the color option because I only did the black and white option. So here's the color option of it looks like some baby leggings. Yeah, I'll look up this pattern and let you know what it is. So I love that it also comes folded. I was like, are they gonna roll them? What are they, what are they gonna do? I don't know. I've got one, two, three. In terms of quality, I think it's great. I mean, the, the paper is very much like printer paper. So if you just like whatever you're gonna put in your printer at home, I would say that's the thickness of it. The lines are great and clear. Most importantly, the sizing is perfect. They're nicely folded. Um, they'll be easy to store. And yeah, I mean, you know, like I think it's with printing, you just wanna make sure that it's the right size, <laughs> that the paper is decent quality and that you can obviously see all of your lines. And with this, it is absolutely perfect. So in terms of cost, again, it is one pound 50 per page. Now, and what is that in one second, let's ask. What's one pound 50 in Canadian dollars? The answer is $2.50. Okay, so $2.50 a page Canadian to get it printed. And different patterns are different um, amounts, right? So for instance, the Sapporo coat was three pages, so that cost me £4.50. Um, the Alex shirt dress was two, the Hudson pants were two, and the Kelly shirt dress was three. So just keep that in mind as you're doing that, you know, what the... Um, what the cost is going to be. So altogether that was 15 pounds um, plus VAT, three pounds 60 cents VAT, which is the European tax. Um, and then that came to 21 pounds and 60 cents, including shipping. So that's $35 Canadian. $35 Canadian for five patterns printed, delivered to my door in less than a week. Yes, please. I'll take it. Maybe there's another place in Toronto that would do it, um, but I haven't found one yet and certainly not nearby. So for me to have that drop ship to my door um, in that amount of time is fantastic. And at the same time, I'm supporting a small business. So I love that. So Simon told me they were just in the middle of doing a new website. And so some of the shipping costs are a little off for the regions outside of the UK. So please feel free to contact him directly so he can let you know what the shipping would be. Again, I believe it's five pounds for shipping to Canada just straight through Royal Mail and nine pounds if you want the signature option, again, through Royal Mail. Um, they printed it the day that I, yeah, it got printed the day that I put in the order and I get the feeling that within 24 hours, they generally print them and get them on their way. And like I said, it got to me six days later. So I'll put the website below. I'll put Simon's contact info below. If you're looking for an option in Canada to have your patterns printed, you might wanna give them a try. I will definitely be using them again. Okay, a little bit of knitting now. So you guys, I have not sewed since I last talked to you and I hadn't sewed then for a couple of weeks. I probably haven't sewed now since like the end of August, um, which is weird for me, or beginning of September, I guess. Yeah, beginning of September, which is weird for me, but you know what, a hobby is a hobby. And if I turn it into something that I feel obligated to do, then it's not a hobby anymore. It's just another obligation of which we all have many, right? So I do have plans though to, in the next day or two, um, have a cutting session. That's one thing I find if my sojo is low and I need to kind of get myself going, I just cut stuff. I just go, okay, just cut it, just cut it. And once I cut it, then I'm motivated to do it. I like to have two or three things cut because maybe I come up against a roadblock on one and then I'm, I'll go over to the other and kind of flip flop. And that keeps me interested and, and, and keeps it fun. Okay, but here's the knitting. So here's one. This is the bobble cowl from Hohi Locatelli and I'll put the link below. So it's called the bobble cowl because there's supposed to be little bobbles right here. I'm not a big bobble fan, so I just didn't bother with that. Um, and this is really just a bunch of 
um, knits and wrap and turns and yarn overs. And actually I did adjust the pattern to make it a little bit easier for me. Um, so it's not gonna look exactly like the picture, but that's one great thing about knitting is, you know, you're gonna end up with a beautiful garment at the end and a cowl is a tube. So what the tube looks like doesn't really matter as much. Um, I got a little bored of doing this and so I've just done a little bit of stockinette here and garter and a little more stockinette. And then I'm probably gonna do another round of yarn overs and then go back to this again. I don't know, in the end it all gets attached, right? So. Um, it's not like I have to start and end in a certain place, really. Uh, we'll see what happens. So the fabric, the fabric, <laughs> the yarn for this is, this is a wool and Angora blend. And, oh no, sorry, it's not wool and Angora. It's cotton and Angora, which is what the problem was. So this is a cotton and Angora blend that I originally bought because I was going to do a my first sweater. And then I started knitting with it and I was like, mm, I don't, I don't think so. I think it's lovely for this, but I don't think I want a sweater out of this, but I had already wound two of the balls. And once you wind the balls, you can't then return it to the store. So I returned the two skeins that I had not wound and I kept these two. And if I hold them against myself, it's actually a little better. Um, this is the lighter color and this is a blend of this color and the one that's a darker, which I was initially gonna have my sweater go ombre. Um, anyway, I'm knitting these two together. So I'm knitting it together as one strand like this. And that is making this beautiful cowl that I'm pretty much planning to give away to somebody yet. Um, I have a couple of ideas, but I'm still figuring it out. Next is my socks. I so showed you guys my sock yarn and I am quite far. I've done the other sock all the way to here. And now this one I've completed more. So you can see that this is called the Indigo Leaves pattern by the same pattern designer. And I'll link it below. Um, this is my first experience doing this kind of lace. On things and I like it I've actually now at the point after doing what seven of these I can pretty much do it without looking at the pattern and um, the heel is in which is great and I basically now just have to do one more of the leaves and then do the toe and then I'll go back and finish the heel on the other one and, and, and knit the bottom so I should be finished this probably later today or tomorrow and um, maybe I'll finish the other one um, over this weekend because it's Thanksgiving and I'll have a little extra time Finally, fabric, 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 fabric. Okay, so I went to Fabricland, they were having a big sale. And the first thing I got is this. <laughs> this is gray, it's, I'm not exposing very well. It's gray with pink polka dots, it's fleece, it's super soft. And this is for my little girls, so my big girls. So Audrey is turning 12 on Friday and I'm gonna make her a robe, maybe not in time for Friday, but I am gonna make her a robe and Lily wants a pair of PJs, so. Hopefully you can kind of, there you go, kind of see. Wow, it's really doesn't want to, there we go. It doesn't want to expose right, does it? Okay. Then I got this awesome, awesome sweater fabric, double-sided sweater fabric. So look at this. So one side, wait, it goes this way. One side is this gray and the other side is the lighter gray. And it's very heavy. It's a very heavy drape. It is exactly like the fabric of this coat that I was looking at at Aritzia, and I'll put in a picture. It's, it's, it literally feels like the same fabric. So the, I got the end of the bolt, it's two meters, so I'm gonna see if I can make some sort of coat jacket that is similar and references that Aritzia coat, but when I saw this fabric, it was only this color and this one bolt, but I mean, I would have loved to have gotten like maybe a, a purple like this or something that they didn't have. Um, but wow, it, it's just so cool because you can really use both sides, right? Like for the cuffs, for the collar, whatever pockets. Um, yeah, so this was $6 a meter and I got two meters. And then I got this navy blue scuba. I don't generally buy scuba because I tend to find it a little plasticky feeling, but this one was really soft. I noticed like you don't, you can't see through it at all, which is really nice. And I like the drape. It was on sale, I think also for $6 a meter, maybe $8 a meter, very, very soft. So I'm actually thinking of doing kind of a, a clean line upscale jumper, jumpsuit out of this. Maybe, maybe the Abbey jumpsuit from Smiley Patterns actually would be nice. Something that I can wear for business, but also maybe dress up for outside at night. Um, I need a couple of just dressier patterns or dressier um, outfits for fall that I can kind of throw on in a really easy. And then lastly, Michelle from Simone's Rose has moved across the country. She's left us in Toronto and headed out 
to Manitoba, I believe it is, near Winnipeg. Um, and before she left, I was um, I was helping her with her D-stash sale, as you guys, I think some of you guys really benefited from that, which is awesome. And um, she had this fabric that I just bought a remnant of, and then I was like, you know what? I really, really want a little more. And so um, she had some left. It's a 10 cell. And it just has this beautiful drape to it. And I saw a couple of other garments that had been made with something similar. And I was like, you know, I'm going to grab that before it's gone. So I went and grabbed a little bit of this. And then she had a gift for me, which is so sweet, for helping her with her D-stash sale and giving her the idea. Because when I went over, I was like, you need to have a D-stash sale. Here's how you do it. <laughs> so she gave me this beautiful white linen with stripes. Um, and this is like linen linen, you know, like the really crunchy kind. Um, love that. Which is so sweet. And then... She gave me some Nanny Eero, which she knows how much I love Nanny Eero. She, loved, she loves it as much as I do, and she knew that I'd appreciate it. Doesn't it look amazing on camera, too? So beautiful. So this is cotton lawn, not the double gauze. I have not a ton, like a little over a meter, but I was thinking I could either wait until next summer and make something new, or I could use it to line the Wixton kimono that I'm doing, or at least partially line the Wixton kimono that I'm doing. Um, I have to like check on the yardage, but I just thought it's supposed to be reversible anyway. And that would give me, you know, some wear for this year round as opposed to just summer. And it's so special. It feels so nice on the skin. Um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. And then as Michelle was packing up to go, they delivered the fabrics that she had ordered for her fall winter line. <laughs> So she's like, oh, so now I'm going to move that all the way across country. So I was there when she was kind of going through that. And I'm, I'm thinking if a designer has picked these beautiful fabrics for her very special fall winter line, um, I'm going to have a look at that. So this is a black bamboo jersey. I'm going to do a turtleneck. Um, I, maybe I might be able to get something else out of it. I think I probably can get something else out of it as well, either for me or for one of my girls. And then lastly, and this again, just to look like black fabric. But this is a mixture of uh, organic cotton, lyocell, which I think is the stretchy version of Tencel, and spandex. And so you get the effect of a stretch, um, a stretch fleece. It's very thick and warm and soft. And initially I thought I might do a sweater dress, but now I'm kind of thinking leggings, because in the winter, fleece leggings are a godsend. They really are. They're, they're so warm and lovely. So. I don't know if you guys can be able to see the texture on this, but just trust me, it's special. Okay, that is all for today. I am going to get this up as soon as possible. Um, thank you so much for being patient with me. I will be back very soon. I have my interview with Aaron from Emerald Aaron Sews that I have, I'm working on um, editing and I'm gonna have that up really soon. I'm also going to make one of her bras, so that's really exciting. And I'm gonna get cutting, I'm gonna get sewing. Now that it's cold outside and gray, now I'm really wanting to do some fall winter sewing. So I hope wherever you guys are, you're feeling in the sewing mood, your sojo is humming, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.